Hey, it's Rich Tarani with TMC. We're here at the IT Expo Tech Super Show in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The 39th show, we're expecting 7,500 people and we've got over 300 exhibitors. So thanks for watching. And on our show today is Anthony Minasali. He is with SignalWire. Anthony, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Pleasure, thanks for being here. For those people who aren't familiar with your company, why don't you give us the uh, overview? Sure. Um, I started FreeSwitch in 2005, which ends up uh, being one of the most used kind of telecom engines in most of the enterprise world, um, which led me to start SignalWire in 2017 so that I could bring that power to the cloud. So I've been working on that for four years now on top of like 15 years of free switch. So as I keep um, pushing forward, we're democratizing telecom into consumable APIs. Well said, that was uh, very, uh, very eloquent and to the point. Uh, I've noticed uh, that you guys are doing some really interesting things with collaboration as well. Yes, well we have some uh, technology we started a long time ago um, inside of FreeSwitch that sort of blossomed into the ability to do um, say the equivalence of what a PBX used to be uh, but now with video and um, wide area access. So we made a remote work tool um, we also you know, used that internally because our company was founded on the idea that everyone worked remotely um, back then in 2017. You know, got a little uh, benefit out of that when we were all forced to work from home. We already were. So, uh, but then after that, we, we took the pieces of that and broke it down into APIs that you can uh, embed video basically into any existing mobile app or web app. Um, but also with the bonus of it being true telecom. Um, I am telecom at heart, so not only do you make video calls, but those video calls can be transferred, they can be routed to different places, you can make uh, IVRs that are video. Uh, so all the concepts that we always knew um, back from the original telephony era, I'm trying to bring it forward and, and do it with video as well now that we have faster internet. It's really great and it's, it's uh, very necessary. What, what has been the market reaction to these solutions? There's been a, in 2020, there was a burst of people trying to do stuff like Zoom court, you know, like they had no choice. We had a pandemic we had to go through. Um, and now that that's sort of subsiding more, they're worried more about things that are practical in the long run. So we're getting people working on things to, like with uh, broadcast of live events in the sporting bet betting industry. Uh, and we see people doing stuff like um, making e-notary services where you take video at another level, like I walk you through signing documents over, over an app rather than having to go in person to close a loan and that kind of stuff. Uh, we see people working on a bunch of interesting stuff like that where um, they want to just have a video infrastructure that scales and not worry about building all the you know DevOps stuff that comes with that, which I can relate because it took us many, many years to, to build the stuff we did and we're trying to make it faster for the next generation. That's fantastic. Um, is there anything else we should know? Um, I think that the world is sort of uh, experiencing, say, like an inflection point with the beginning of 5G. Um, when we, we started working together uh, with some telcos this last uh, funding round we did, so we have Deutsche Telekom and T-Mobile working together, and we're trying to innovate on the developer experience together so that we can ride the wave of the internet, which in my entire career has always been the thing that drives technology forward. If you measure the speed of the internet over time and what you're able to do, they, they coincide. So we're hitting another one of those points where it's going to 10x as far as stuff, so uh, how f fast it can go, which will open all these ideas up. So it's important to start thinking about how to utilize those things um, and then come and see us if you want to learn about it. How do people find you on the web? Um, SignalWire.com or FreeSwitch.com. Um, we have a thriving open source project that's been around for years um, where you can kind of you know, build your own telecom switch. Um, and at SignalWire, you can use cloud-enabled APIs that kind of just automatically scale. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me.